these guys put the smash in Smashville. It's the Predators here in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming along in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. A lot of people have clicked through the turnstiles tonight and they've had in mind one player. He's the guy on whom all eyes will be. What's it like to be him? Well, you want that pressure. You want to be the guy. When the game is on the line, you want to be the guy that has the puck on your stick. And that's why people pay a lot of money to come watch this particular player play. Because when he's at his best, his team goes to another level. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Pekka Rene has taken his team in Nashville to the Stanley Cup Final and the AHL team in Milwaukee to the Calder Cup Final. In search of a championship, he came close twice. Semyon Varlamov, some of you may remember the Winter Classic in the rain. Washington at Pittsburgh in 2011, he was first star with 32 saves. He gets the start. Rain not expected inside tonight. What are these two teams going to bring us? Let's just see. Joe Hansen's the face-off man for the Predators. McKinnon's opposite him for Colorado. Johnson's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Avs have it in the defensive zone. And works straight up to McKinnon. Whistle is blown. And the guilty party heads off the ice. Nashville's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. Colorado's power play unit gets its first opportunity. Well, the numbers show if you get the first goal, you have a way better chance to win than if you're chasing the game. A power play, what a great chance here to get on the board first. Solid work there by Yossi. The Avs have gotten to center ice. Colorado's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Solid neutralized poke check. Assisted by number 29. Skilled play. They score! And they've tied the game up. A little under three minutes played in the first. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Redditor's goal. Scored by number nine. Steps in from the neutral zone. On to Landeskog. Wonderful save. And on top of that, another great stop. Johnson's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Got it in his own end. Feeds the point. Let's a shot fly. And now we get the stoppage of play in the penalty call. Arvidsson's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. Colorado's power play has been strong. They have connected once. Let's see if they can make it twice on this power play. They've been successful before, Doc, in the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Flings it. No! Got to get it on net from there. As the shooter was about to let it go, the puck just went on edge a second. That's why the puck missed the net badly. Benito's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. The Avs get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five-on-three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Kicked away. Pitching it to Johansson. Good intercept by Barry. Skates out with it. Collected in the corner. Puck at the point. Snaps it to Broussard. Had it away. Gets it back. Chip to Subban. 
Colorado's got time for only this rush. Let's it go. Score! It's another power play goal. The Abs have broken the tie. Perhaps they can build on this lead here in the first period. And they take that neutral zone face off. Got that pass off the boards. Good place to shoot from. Got a piece of that one. Blue line control. Skates along the line. Solid defensive play. On the outside, a shot. Save. Rolls right off the boards. Great glove grab. And that whistle will give them relief for the moment. Barlamov's quick thinking allowed him to stop the play to slow down the pressure. The Predators prevailing on the faceoff. Smart recovery by Yossi. Looking to Ellis. Off he won't avoid something for doing that. And so a fight has begun, sort of. One guy refuses, so now we have another. His teammate did not want anything to do with dropping his gloves, and he's got some help. The decision of the referee is final. It was worth five each for fighting. But that is as one-sided as you're going to see. They get tipped over onto the ice pretty quickly, and this is a dominant win for the home team. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Over eight minutes still to play in this period. The Avs lead by a goal. They just broke the tie moments ago. Snapping a pass to Cole. And now it's directed to Wilson. Puck is thrown to Kerfoot. Let's it go. And a save. And he holds on and stops playing. Solid clean win. Passing one off now to Boyle. Gains that offensive line. Snaps one. Oh, he had a great chance to shoot there, and he did, but it was answered by the glove. The Predators win the draw. That puck struck him in front. Quick shot. Great save. Cole's trying to work his way ahead. Slid to McKinnon. Stole that pass away in his own end. In with it now. A shot. Colorado's in their own end and controlling play now. And angled to Cole. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Quick wrist shot. Good deflection try, but off the mark. Whistle is blown, penalty called. And the penalty box door swings open. Nashville sent to the box for two minutes. It's tripping. The Avs go on the power play again. This could be a lightning-like attack on the scoreboard. And, oh, he'll pay for that. The Predators with a clean win on the draw. Nashville's in control as they travel up the wing. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Smart recovery by Gabriel Landeskog. The clock has bled down to the last One minute. minute Colorado's along the wing at center ice. Skates it into the zone. Hammers one. Save there. The Predators are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. 
I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. It is a five on three for a brief time, but still a two-man advantage, and the faceoff will start it off. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. A shot. He scores! Just before the period ends. And that's a face-off win. Scored on the power play by number 18. Twenty minutes are in the books, and so the coaches will have their say. The players will rest and listen. Colorado's built a two-goal lead. If you want to show us your accuracy, register now for our shoot to win contest, where one lucky fan. Brassard's goal took it from a one-goal game to a two-goal advantage. Intermission is next. Nashville's got it in their own end, hoping for center. Scooped up by Johnson. And glides on through center ice. Shoots one. A wonderful scoring chance denied. Nice face-off work. Pitching this one to Arvidsson. Is able to move on in. Not on the net. Doc, these are chances that keep you up at night. A shot from the slot, and he misses by that much? Got to do way better than that. And he dumps it in. The Predators have control of the puck in the defensive zone. Strong wrister. Score! Forsberg. and how quick that snapshot got on him. This save usually is a little easier than the glove side as you're able to use your shoulder and shrug it away. He just couldn't get there. Colorado's got it off the draw at center. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Looks ahead to start something. The Predators are at the wing in neutral ice. Let's it go. Score! Predators with a center ice face-off win. Scored by number eight, The poke check worked. Number 50, He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Fires Subban's wonderful block. 27 seconds. Soderbergh's lost the draw again. Score close. Lucky for him. Pass attempt to Gronlund. Can start the attack going in the zone. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Let's it go. Terrific save off the redirect. Dogged determination there by Barry. He moves that one ahead through center. Long lead pass to Zadarov. Gives it to the point. Good shooting place. Made that stop. A little over nine minutes completed in the second. Game tied at this point, three goals apiece. They won that draw. Using the point, he's got it. 
Hits that one on a cross. Nice work by Bonino. Directing that one to Boyle. Very entertaining evening of hockey here. We have had all kinds of chances and goals. The defense seems to take it a little break. Maybe they'll show up for the last half of the game. Trying to go to Bonino. Got it on his stick in the slot. Leads that charge into the zone. That one is pointed to him. A sprawling block. The Predators are skating it up at neutral ice. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Cole's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Joe Hansen's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. You can just see the confidence when a team is lightning-like on the power play, and this one is. They get another chance beginning now. Fires. Wonderful stop. Pitching it to Eckholm. Puck loose because of that hit. Nashville's in control of the puck in the defensive zone. Crosses that line. From the slot of Rister. Swept aside. And still another save. What a show. Amazing reflexes. Oh, snaps the shot. Hit the boat with the shot. Collected now. Puck loose, denied by the defense. Oh, broke it up. Looking to Arvidsson. The Predators with a neutral zone possession along the way. The Avs, for a change, do not score on the power play. Off the iron. Perfect, Brister. Save. Blocked. Got to clear it. Driving in from no man's land. Loud pad save. Seeks the corner. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. And a save. Great save. And decides to just cover it out and get the whistle. Nice face-off win. Nearing the last minute of this middle period. At least he protected his goaltender. Moves behind the net. A shot. Off his pad. What a move on that one with the stick. They've got a two-on-one. Shot. That was a great play and goal. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. 40 minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. A look at the shots on goal through two. 18 for Colorado and 14 for Nashville. Willemans Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Tourist goal has knotted this up. We're at the end of the period and headed to intermission. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. Third period has begun. The next one could be the winning one. The Predators in possession as they travel in their own end. Let's it go. Save there. Lose, but he found it. I'm not sure how he got his glove on that loose puck in behind. He must have eyes in the back of his head, like my mom. Good job on the draw. Use that stick like a magic wand. Colorado's carrying it in the defensive zone. Landis Gogs tripped, and a penalty should be coming. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Yossi's going to the box, and the call is tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately caught the player's skates. The Avs go on the power play yet again. They have been highly effective so far. Let's see if it continues. Clean win on the draw. Ellis is in his own zone trying to get to center ice. Brings it in for an attack. 
Can he generate something from there? Wonderful stop. A little under three minutes have passed. Six goals in this game so far, divided in half. Propelled to Comfort. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. They've vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. Save. Shot on. Shoots. Terrific point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Nashville's got two on this one for tripping. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Colorado's power play will get a chance to crank some shots. They're up by two men. This five-on-three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here. And they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Snapping a pass to Comfort. Goalie to the bench, extra man over the boards on the delayed penalty. Eckholm's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Gathered up by Yossi. Gains the blue line. Shoots one. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Defensive zone win. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. He throws it there. Oh, that was close. Great idea, but he just missed the net. Just walking the tightrope. Barry's trying to work his way to center ice. Colorado's power play didn't work as well this time as before. Wow, what a move. Grabbed. The Predators along the board skating at mid-ice. That one's to him from his goaltender. To McKinnon. Gains the zone. Shoots a diving shot block. And it's a good pickup. And he gains the zone. Shoots one. McKinnon's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Avs have their goalie at the bench, and they've replaced him on this delayed call. Nashville's been assessed a minor penalty. Two minutes, and the call is tripping. A power play that can generate goals is special, and this one has been. Let's see if it continues. They won that face off, trying to generate something. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Shoots one. Got his stick on the shot. To Landeskog. Centers it. Sends it back the other way. Out to the point. Redirects it. Big save with a glove. I think it changed direction there. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Great ball with the stick. The Predators are boxed on a tripping minor. With the play going 5 on 3, everyone is expecting a goal here, but if they can kill it off. Ooh, this is special. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A 5 on 3 power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net. Make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Nashville's given a minor here for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. The Abs are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have. Score! What a power play these guys have. Colorado's got the lead now by one. Third period of play. It'll be a wonderful finish. And 
They've won the neutral zone faceoff. Laid on to Barry. Save! The Predators haven't played all that well, but their goaltender has held them tight. They still have a chance here. Just great positional play. Barry's tripped, and a penalty should be coming. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Sissons gets his name on the penalty sheet, a tripping minor. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Aps begin a power play, and it's a five-on-three. A great opportunity for them here. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around, and you start to tire them out. Let's a shot go, and a save. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Nice work done with the stick there. Barry's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Carries it on in from center. Varlamov's at the bench. Six attackers now. Sticked away. And we get another penalty. The referee to the scores table. It is a five-on-three power play. This could be a key point in the game. I was going to say, I don't know what he's thinking there, but the answer is he's not. That's another penalty that he's taken. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 25 seconds. And there's a delayed penalty call. And now it's directed to Comfort. He's in! Score! A power play goal yet again. Colorado's power play gets a five on three, and it's a long one. Let's see how they perform. This five on three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here, and they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Hamuse has a minor penalty here, and the call is tripping. The Avs get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. One of the biggest problems on a five-on-three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. The Predators continue to probe up the wing. Twist one. Just fired it wide. That goaltender's breathing a little easier. Great chance from the slot. He just missed. Puck is thrown to Comfort. Passing one off now to McKinnon. And the goalie to the bench. The extra man's on. Turned away with the stick. Good position in the slot. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Add another penalty to this total. Well, the referees are doing a good job, Doc, here. They're huddling up. They're talking. They're getting communicating. They're trying to figure out exactly what the calls on the ice should be. Colorado's special teams have been special. Let's see if they come up big here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's not short. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five-on-three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Oh, Pocek saved one there. Boyle's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. You're right, Doc. This is a big advantage here. A five-on-three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. The Predators arrive between the blue lines. He shot him right down. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Moving it to Soderbergh. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Great defensive poke. The Predators have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. The Avs are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. One of the biggest mistakes a five on three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around and you start to tire them out. Last minute to go in the third. He left his feet, but not on his own, and not by choice. Great play along the boards. Tries to wear down his man by throwing the body. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. Subban's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping.
I love how the referees are communicating here, trying to figure out exactly what took place so we can figure out the penalty calls. Colorado's power play has been effective, and it gets another opportunity right here. This five-on-three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here, and they move the puck around the outside and never challenge the penalty killers. Oh, Pocek saved one there. Drives it. Waffle boarded. Score! Oh, no! The referee's waving it off. No goal. Colorado's going to have to wait to see if this goal counts. As soon as the puck entered the net, the ref waved it off. I'm not really sure why. We'll have to find out. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. The Predators have to take a chance here. They pull their goalie. Wow, look at him. He's got a long way to go. Does he have enough gas? Score! It's another power play goal. And they've won the faceoff. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Score! What a power play these guys have. Colorado's power play goes on a five on three for a brief time. Maybe enough. Let's see if they can get a pair here. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. One of the biggest problems on a five on three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. And there it is. The game is over. In a game which featured a lot of power plays, particularly for one team, I guess we shouldn't be surprised about the outcome. Uh, they don't ask how, they just ask how many, and they got more pucks than that on a power play and had a huge night in a specialty team.